From the beginning, Rachel knew there was something wrong with her newborn son, Aiden. A deep purple birthmark covered his right eye and scalp. The diagnosis, a rare condition called Sturge-Weber syndrome. When we first thought that he had Sturge-Weber syndrome, it was a very um, scary thought. When it's over the forehead and the scalp, it's usually associated with uh, brain involvement. This change in his vascular pattern in his brain uh, causes the brain to be slowly destroyed, and as it does so, it produces seizures. Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA is one of a handful of medical centers around the country that could offer Aiden a ray of hope. Scans showed the extreme damage that Sturge Weber had caused to the right side of Aiden's brain. When all anti-seizure medication failed, doctors at UCLA conducted a battery of tests and proposed a radical solution. They would remove the diseased half of Aiden's brain. If the seizures continue, they can begin to affect the brain on the other side. The goal is to stop the seizures so that we can allow the other hemisphere its best possibility to develop. In other words, we want to let him reach his maximal developmental potential by stopping the seizures as early as possible. When they first told me that, you know, that Aiden's chance was to have this surgery and have half of his brain removed, it was very frightening. Um, because it's, it's, you know, it raises all these questions. Well, what's gonna happen to him afterwards? How is he going to be? Is it going to change his personality? I mean, is it almost, is it worth the risk? On the day of surgery, it was such a roller coaster of a day emotionally, you know, just because, you know, you're, you're handing your child off to these professionals who know what they're doing, and you just have to trust that everything is going to go okay. He's my hero. He's been through so much and he's still so loving and happy. It was just very, uh, it was called the longest day of my life. Our hopes for Aiden is that we stop his seizures and then we will watch and see how he does developmentally. I would hope that with his seizures under control that we begin to pick up more developmental milestones and hopefully see him advance to the point where he's uh, able to walk, talk, interact with everyone in his environment. He won't be normal, but if we can make him as close to normal as we can, that would be our goal. One child at a time. He should be able to uh, talk, walk, um, play with other kids, chew. He can't do any of that. Um, he can't dress himself. Um, you know, he pretty much relies on me and others around him to do everything for him. UCLA seemed to be the best choice. I asked a lot of people, a lot of people, and I had even doctors tell me that if they needed their child to have this surgery, that they would want Dr. Mathern to do it at UCLA. And then the very next day, Aiden, opened his eyes up, he looked at me, and I started to sing to him, and he smiled at me, and I just thought, oh my God, he's gonna be okay. <laughs> you know, it was just the best feeling. One week after surgery, Aiden went home from the hospital, and four days later, Aiden went back to school. I mean, it was just like, this is amazing, this is a miracle. I just, I have the highest hopes that Aiden um, will benefit from this surgery in that um, it will help him to see the world more clearly, be able to function in this world, and enjoy life the best that he can. Good job. What are you doing?